Here we go, you guys. I've just finished my first day back to work from my vacation down to Fantasy Fest 2021 in Key West, Florida. And I ain't worth a pug nickel. You hear me? And if you would say, you done rode your bike 2,600 miles all week. And then you come home and jump on the F6B to go to work. Ain't you tired of riding the motorcycle? No. This is what I do. This is who I am. And I am. Got the show enough leather gloves, gauntlet gloves, and what the name of them, I couldn't tell you. I got them from Biker Rags. Waterproof. Supposed to be down to 28 degrees. Don't know about that. We'll put it to the test. Got my snowmobile pants. My warm socks. And my full leather jacket. We had to have that. Full helmet too. We had to have that coming home. We got a little rain coming home. It is a foggy, foggy day. Winter time, or well, fall is here. Winter time is coming. Let's see if I can get a these gloves. Ain't gonna let me do nothing. Get an outside temperature on this thing. I got my lightweight bar collar on. Y'all can see by the fog rolling what that's all about. Yeah, I'm back out here. Time to get these donuts so I can prepare myself for the next adventure. I was on the phone today talking to a friend of mine down in Pensacola, old Stebo. Shout out to big bro Stebo. I met him years ago down there in Pensacola, Florida. Always been a good old positive brother. You can't you can't wrap yourselves around enough positive men. And now that I said that, it reminds me of a story. Yeah! It's storytelling time with Slappy Adventures. All right, it's storytelling time with Slappy Adventures. Yay! Papa Slappy, would you please tell us a story, please, huh, please? All right, children. Let Slappy Adventures tell you a little story. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, we ready. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, dog, dog, dog. <laughs> Let me give you a Steve O story. Oh, Steve O, I met him a while back uh, during my Pensacola years. He's a stout brother, and what I mean by stout, you know, he's uh, he works out, put together well, no homo stuff, but he's put together well, you know, takes real good care of his body, works out, and uh, does his thing. Well, we was out there one time, I was getting my bike worked over there at this guy named Miles' house. He was a local mechanic everybody used. The old Steve-O was there. I said, what's Steve old guy? He had bought a Busa. He had bought a high Busa, black on black. I'll never forget it. Now, Steve old's Busa was probably the first high Busa that I have seen that had a fat tire kit. Everybody at that time was trying to go fast. Steve old had put a, 
a 240 kit on there and at the time that he put that kit I think it was like five thousand dollars I thought that was just unreal just for a swing arm kit but he likes what he likes but he had that bad boy painted black on black and chrome everything else was chrome just a clean ass motorcycle you hear me clean and uh and when he got on that bad boy he was dressed apart He'll have everything on the clothes right. He'll get on that bad boy. He'll be riding with us. And if he see a car look or some kids or some girls waving or something like that and looking at his bike, but he'll speed up or he'll slow down and he'll ride beside him for a while, let him get a real good look. You ain't going to go too fast with Steve, boy. He's going to ride up her. If somebody act like they even look at that damn thing, he going to slow down there and let them get a good look. And rightly so. Like I said, that's the first time I've ever seen a, a high booster that was set up that way, except on TV, you know, watching Baca Boys. But it was real clean. Well, the story comes into play. Well, we was all down at my uh, townhouse, and we was doing something. All the fellas, we were setting up and getting ready to ride. And I'm sitting up, uh oh, po -po. I'm sitting up there talking. Then I see my, 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 my children's mother, her, her cousin walks out and goes to the car. And she walks back real slow. Then another girl, she walks out of the doggone apartment while we out there hanging out. She walks back in there slow. And here comes another one walk out. I'm like, what the hell's going on? They just walking out, then they walked around the block and come back out. They then got all the kids together, walked out, went around the block, come on back real slow. And then it took me a little while to realize these daggum gals is coming out here looking at damn Steve Bo. I said, they come out here trying to get them a little glimpse old Steve-O there. And I don't know if Steve-O picked up on it or not. I said, y'all carry y'all asses back in that damn thing with them girls. What y'all out here doing out here with these boys? Steve-O, them girls was out there checking you out, man. <laughs> I think I might have said something. I said, they out here looking at you, Steve-O. Well, he was used to it. You know what I'm saying? We laughed about it, but good positive brother he has bought him a harley davidson now real clean motorcycle boy he got a hell of a deal on that bike and uh you know getting into the cruise and wanting to relax and you know do some grown folks riding and stuff he he, he, he watches my videos and he knows I'm an old country boy man out here having a good time we're going to get old steve old down here and get them on that dragon and get them down there to Key West when we go one of these years. But Steve Ball, this is a shout out to you, bro. I appreciate the conversation, man. That was real good, positive. I love talking to you, brother. You've always been positive from day one. You know, you you you, you always been genuine with me since the day I met you, man. Shout out to my man Steve Ball out of Pensacola, Florida. All right, man, it's a slappy adventure. I'm headed home in the cold. Aye. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like this.